All right, the markets are looking towards some red ink at the opening bell, which is moments away. And also on your screen is Keith Fitzgerald joining us this Monday morning. All right, Keith, earnings season kicks off. I know you're interested in two particular companies. First off, Pepsi, because you think that will demonstrate how the consumer is behaving. Make your case. Absolutely, and here's why. Many people compare it to Coca-Cola, Stuart, but it's not a beverage company. It's a snacks company. Almost 50% of the revenue comes from things like potato chips and grab-it food. So Quaker brands, Lay's, Fritos, those things are all folded into the Pepsi brand. So I think we're going to see where and what consumers are buying. That's a good thing. But you're not recommending Pepsi. You're not going to buy the stock. You're just simply saying it's a very good indicator, right? That's what you're saying? Exactly. It's a bellwether. You know, for purchases, if I want to go after the consumer, I'm going to be into a stock, and I am, into a stock like Costco, for example, yep. because I want to be into the proverbial food chain, not just the food itself. Yeah, I saw Costco with very good results today. How about you? another one you're exactly. looking at is J.P. Morgan. What are they going to tell you about the economy? This is the interesting one. J.P. Morgan is not about the financial results that everybody's going to be thinking. It's really about whether or not the guidance mirrors CEO Jamie Dimon's economic hurricane comments that made so much news six, seven weeks ago. So if it's a downbeat forecast, then I'm going to batten down the hatches. If it's an upbeat forecast or at least a level forecast, then you know what? I think we're going to have a short, sharp recession. We're already in one, but that's going to bode well for coming into 23-24. The consensus of opinion on the analysts on this show is that Twitter, if there is such a thing as a consensus on this show, is that Twitter goes down maybe to the low 20s and then uh, Musk buys it for the low 20s. You've got 30 seconds to tell me whether that's right or wrong. I think that's probably correct. He's an absolute genius tactician because now Twitter is going to have to disclose in court whether or not they've got all the bots that he alleges. So you think it might go down to the low 20s and then Musk might buy it at that price, right? Probably. He's going to have change left over from a billion-dollar penalty and not even care. I feel like I'm twisting your arm there, but I'm very sorry about that. Uh, Keith, we'll see you again real soon. All right, the clapping, the cheering. I don't know. Hi, it's Keith here. Thanks for checking out today's highlight clip. What would you think? Did I make sense? Is there something you'd like to add? Make sure you leave a comment down below. And, of course, click subscribe to keep up right here on YouTube or sign up for the email newsletter at the link below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram for my real-time thoughts on markets, analysis, and a whole lot more.